Hey guys, and welcome back to this week's video. Um, as of last week, I did start a restoration on an iPhone. However, I'm still waiting for parts for that to arrive. So I decided to do just a little video in between to uh, fill that gap. So today I'm going to be showing you how to replace a PlayStation 3 Blu-ray drive. Um, now it's quite a nice, easy fix to do, um, but it does require some special tools. One of which is a security bit. Which, look like, which looks like this, sorry. Make sure that focuses, there you go. Has a hole in the middle. And yeah, after that, you'll just need the standard sort of, you know, one second, Phillips screwdriver. So let's get started. Now, most PS3s, especially these old fat models, uh, we'll have a sticker, we'll, we'll, we'll not have this sticker here, as you can see mine doesn't. Um, inside there is a screw, that's where your security bit goes, I've already taken that out. Uh, then we slide this cover towards where the screw goes in, and just lift up. After that we're going to take our uh, Phillips bit, and we're going to start removing all the screws where there are arrows. So. You can just about see them here, but each screw that you need to remove has an arrow that points towards it. Uh, now, most of these screws are the same size, uh, apart from the one that's all the way back here. That's just a bit smaller. So don't worry too much about that. But yeah, I'm gonna just get these removed or at least um, untightened as not all of them will come out. Make sure that stays in frame. So yeah, I know the, the PS3 is a bit of an older console, um, but this will, it will start, well, no, not actually, but um, this is about the time that, you know, these Blu-ray drives will begin to reach the end of their life. Uh, there's a missing screw here. So they will start failing, the lasers will start um, not being as reliable as they used to, you know. It will struggle to read games, long waiting, long loading times in games. Um, a whole bunch of things can happen when your laser and hard drive, uh, laser and disk drive, sorry, start to fail. So it's good just to get it replaced while it's still readily available. So once we lift this top bit up, so yeah, sorry, once you remove all the screws, this top bit just lifts up. Um, and there's just one cable that you want to remove, lift up on the black tab, pull out, and that's it, it's free. Um, and then we get to our disk drive, which should be uh, detached as it's just the screws that go in on the top case that hold this all down. So we'll gently lift up on this because there's a bit of thermal paste sticking it to the, the underside of the board. Um, we'll remove this cable from the side here. So just tug on it. There you go, flip it upwards, come right here, lift up on this black tab, and that will come straight out. Now, uh, with your new PS3 disk drive, you're gonna wanna take this motherboard right here, and you're gonna wanna swap it. If you don't do that, you will not be able to play games, because this motherboard is, um, married to this uh motherboard should i say so if you don't replace this motherboard on the disk drive uh it will not be able to verify that it's a sony disk drive or whatever there's something that goes on in the background and you will not be able to play games uh you can still play blu-ray discs though um so make sure you swap that over uh i'm going to do that now off camera um, because it's just a bit of a lengthy process uh, but it's quite simple a uh, few screws here 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 remove all these tabs take it out put the new one in do it in reverse right let me do that now that was quite easy for me um, I'm gonna start getting this all attached again and we can put this all back together so in goes this cable actually you know what it's probably going to be easier if we do the 
the longer cable here first. Um, it just saves that other cable getting in the way when we need to plug it in. I'm doing this from a bit of a distance. It's a bit more difficult for me. Uh, this will be easier for you guys because you'll be able to get closer to it. Make sure you guys can still see. Can you get my nice head in the way? Uh, Alright, one sec. Alright, I just had to stop there just to get that cable in. Um, clip that down. Let's just come back out. Push that down and we are secured in. Let's get this cable back in. So this is the 12 volt power cable um, that supplies the uh, disk drive for the power. This is just the data cable underneath. Uh, make sure this goes back on nicely, that these screw holes here, here and here all line up. You're going to want to take your top casing. Remember to plug in this cable here. Uh, get that plugged in. Uh, put this within the grooves that are made for it. Push it down and get all your screws back in. And don't forget to put the top casing back on. And that is how you quickly and efficiently change the Blu-ray drive inside your PlayStation 3. Thank you very much for watching.